everyone, Edna Kimball, Edna Sells, and welcome to today's episode where I have the guest of the year, the guest of the year, my friend, my mentor, my coach, what, coach, my coach, <laughs> I forgot what you are, uh, Sandra Hendricks, and Sandra has flown in from Mexico City to spend four days with us, and we are going to delve into all things Sandra. And all things Edna. Uh, all things real estate. <laughs> all things real estate, for sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're so excited to have you here. So how how was the trip? How hard is it to get from Mexico City to Oklahoma? Not hard at all. I was very uh, amazed that everything was on time. It was a very smooth trip. Um, we just have to plan everything in advance. Yes, <laughs> right. So you left your your office that day at two p.m. Uh, two p.m. and arrived in at it's the airport Tulsa at ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. So easy peasy. It was easy. That means you have to keep coming back. I will definitely keep coming back. <laughs> and you know me, I adore uh, places that have a, a story. Yes, that have a life of its own. Nature above all. And um, I'm not a big city girl. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think you fell in love with Tahlequah before you even came. Yes. Based upon everything we've told you. Yes. So of course. Um. So Sandra, you are you are basically a coach in how many different countries are do you coach? Because it's obviously you're in Mexico City. But you coach me. I'm here in Oklahoma. You coach people in Florida. What's uh, Tennessee? I uh, well, let me no North Carolina. Context. Yeah. I'm a Tom. I'm I'm a I'm a Tom Ferry coach mm -hmm. since 2016. Okay. I fell in love with Tom Ferry because I'm in Coldwell Banker. My my family runs the master franchise of Coldwell Banker in Mexico. Okay. So I got to know Tom. And then after uh, being a client first and then the coach certification, I got certified as a, as a business coach for Tom. But the huge advantage is that I am bilingual and I understand like other two languages. And being in Mexico, which doesn't need a license to practice, we don't have MLS, we don't have as many as much technology and as many options right. allows me to understand how real estate is done in other places outside of the U.S. Yes. Yeah. And so I coach, I have coached in Australia, Japan, uh, Luxembourg, which we have beautiful Natasha there, oh, Amsterdam, yes. we have Martin, Italy, Massimo, in the U.K., I have the huge pleasure of coaching the number one agent in the U.S., in the world for Century 21, which is you. And Matt in the U.K., they are the best agency in the U.K. Oh, wow. And then I've coached uh, Albania. Oh, that's right. We just discussed right? that today. Yes. We Albania, have... I've coached Portugal, South Africa. Now, where is Nick? In Curaçao. Curaçao, okay. In the islands of the Caribbean, it's uh, um, Dominican Republic, Curaçao, then Costa Rica, Brazil. And, and it goes on and on and on, guys. Mexico, so. Canada, and in the U.S., I, 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 I mostly coach niche markets. Okay, perfect, perfect. And and I think what strikes me though is you said that you you got certified. But is it true? I'm going to go out on a limb here. You have a little bit of an addiction to being certified, right? <laughs> Let's talk about some of the things that currently you're enrolled to be certified through Jay Shetty. Yes. You are a breath coach. I am I am presenting my cases to be certified Oxygen Advantage by Patrick McKeon. Okay. Yeah. You led a group of us, and you guys watched that episode where we did the Wim Hof breathing mm -hmm. technique with the ice baths. Yes. You did that. Um, you are a divorce coach. I am a certified divorce coach by Sarah Davidson in the UK. Watch out, Herb. No, uh -huh. I can't. <laughs> No. You don't coach me to get divorced. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no you coach through the trauma of it. I coach through the, through the trauma, okay. which is also coaching 
it, it's applicable to the to the loss. Okay, there. Oh, no, I get that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's not to coach somebody to get divorced. Is to coach someone out of a painful, long, complicated divorce situation. Okay, that makes because more sense. <laughs> the the divorce doesn't have to be a long, painful, painful, traumatic situation but rather something that you can capitalize to being a better person and to understand yourself a lot better. And when there are kids, have your children transition in a better way through it. Oh, I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I love that you help me with in the coaching, you're also AI certified and technology certified. <laughs> yes. So I was certified by Nick Krem and the AI Institute, Institute of AI, but mainly by Jason Pantana within the Tom Ferry ecosystem. Right. And that's artificial intelligence uh, exactly. to be utilized through marketing and real estate. Uh, the way to optimize your time, your marketing and your resources in your real estate business so that you spend less time behind the computer and more time in front of your clients and speaking to clients. I love it. I love it. Now, um, I know that I've missed some of the certifications, but there were so many that I struggled with it. What what am, what am I missing? Can you think uh, of anything? International Coaching Federation. Of course. <laughs> yes. I didn't do that last year. Uh I am a firm believer that the only way to grow is through learning. Absolutely. Always be learning, right? And uh, through learning, we have a different outlook on, on whatever's happening, right? Yeah. And we, it gives us the huge advantage of moving from the emotion to the logic. Yes, and uh, also understanding and having another perspective and bigger pictures. And as a coach, it I think it and as a leader, yeah. it's our, our biggest responsibility to keep learning, 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 learning in order to grow in this world oh, where absolutely. everything changes every half hour. <laughs> so <laughs> true. Yes. Uh, yes. How will we keep up? Yeah. If we don't grow. Yeah. And learning is growing always. Absolutely. And it, it really kind of, it ties into, there's the technology aspect of it, but there's also an emotional intelligence level that we don't, um, because we deal with a lot of hard stuff. You know, we deal with, you know, so there's been a death in the family. There's been a divorce. Someone has a disease, you know, and they we kind of want to step in and go, let me help you carry that. But then we have 42 of those clients that we're carrying that for. And so you've, you've also really done a great job of helping us make sure that the intelligence, um, the emotional intelligence is part of it. Because if we, if we just um, are overly empathetic and get too bogged down with that, then we're really not doing what's best for the client. Exactly. There's the the I the IQ, which is your intelligent coefficient or quote, quote, quote something. And then there's the <laughs> sounded EQ, right to me. that's emotional intelligence. Okay. Right? Yes. So we really need to achieve a balance between the two because if you're only driven by the qu quotient, whatever, of intelligence, uh -huh. then that might also translate a little into arrogance. Oh. So okay. you need the emotional aspect, the emotional intelligence aspect of it so that you can also be a leader. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, and we in this industry, in any industry, mm -hmm. need a lot of leadership, but also self-leadership. And as you very well said, and as we know, real estate is intimately tied yeah. to the life cycle of people. But that's also true for the agents yeah. <laughs> and not yeah. just for the client, yeah. right? Right. So it's super important in when we're running a business to not let that emotion ruin yeah. Your your financial life, 
your business life, but to be able to deal with it in a way that allows you to grow and move forward without that, um, without staying too long in one of the, of the stages of the process of grief okay. or the process of change. Right, right. Because it's almost like therapy sometimes for people. Um, and we, uh, I did a, um, I did a, a s episode a few months ago after you had us come down and do the Wim Hof uh -huh. um, training, but I feel like that ties in. So doing hard things such as an ice bath, it's proving to yourself that you can overcome or that you can push yourself. Tell us about that and what you, why, why ice baths because you're a little addicted to them too. I'm super addicted to yeah. them. Yeah. It's all it's all about understanding how our brain and our body work. And um ice baths they they are like kind of in vogue and everybody's sure. doing the ice it's bath. It's a trending thing. But the ice bath first it has to be done responsibly. Ah, yeah. Because not everybody can can actually do an ice bath. That's what I brought Gabriel. Gabriel is uh, Wim Hof um, uh, certified. Okay. He's a certified Wim Hof instructor, instructor, but he's also a breath coach instructor by Patrick McKeon, but he has done so much study into that yeah. that the combination of breath work and ice is what does the, the, the real magic. And understanding how we do it. When we, when we um, do the ice bath, it's one, it's, of course, it's understanding how to break the comfort zone. Right. But ice is, it, it just, the ultimate comfort zone breaker. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is no joke. Absolutely. Because your bodily temperature in in it's in centigrades in not in Fahrenheit. I think in Fahrenheit it's over a oh, hundred and what? Uh, our regular temperature mm -hmm. it's like ninety eight, ninety eight point nine. I in think in centigrades yeah. it's thirty six. Ah, so your thirty your your overall body temperature is thirty six. Mm -hmm. And when you do the ice, not the ice, but it can be the cold shower or the cold exposure or the ice plunge. Sometimes it can be at two degrees centigrade, which is like 40, 30 ish. Okay. In Fahrenheit. So you're, you, you, you go into the cold water and your body feels like you're doing something really threatening to it. Flight or fight. Uh, flight yes. or fight. Yeah. So, uh, it's your, it has to do with your sympathetic and your parasympathetic system, mm -hmm. right? So all of, all, all of your, all of your survival goes to protect what's most, most important, which is your Orbits, heart yeah. and your brain, right? Yeah. And it's shouting, it's shouting, get out of here. It's super painful. <laughs> I don't like it. Get out of there. But when you can control, because you know yeah. consciously that you're not going to die. Right. Well, I thought get out of there, But you can get out of there. Any yes, minute. I could get out at any moment. Right? Yes. So when you combine the breath, because you have to consciously breathe, mm -hmm. you're not going to go like <laughs> breathing and in, 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 inhaling and exhaling through your mouth because then you're going to get hyperventilated. Right. The idea is to control your breath through the nose, breathe in and breathe out through the nose, or if you're breathing in and breathing out through a straw. Right. Right. And it's about your body understanding that you have control of the mind. Okay. And so that's where it comes back to pushing through some, you're, you're in complete control, yes. whether you're in a real estate transaction that's blowing up or you're in an ice bath or you're in an argument with your spouse taking control being in control of your of your yes mind. so it all kind of because let's remember that the brain is the hardware and the mind is the software and the apps is consciousness oh that's like so if you're talking about a computer or a phone 
the hardware is the, the, the phone, right? the case of the phone, the actual phone. The software is everything that's in it that, so that it works. And then you have the apps, right? And right. it's the exact same thing. Your body, your brain, your brain as such, the, 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 the mushy thing <laughs> is the hard <laughs> organ. Yeah. The software is your mind. Okay. And the consciousness and the awareness are the apps. Now, see, I love that because I do think that you can reprogram the software. Totally. Right? So totally. that's a very good analogy. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah. So I started... I, I had to deal with anxiety because I'm an overperformer and perfectionist. Is anyone in the room surprised? Jill, are you surprised? <laughs> yes. No. And and so something else I forgot to mention. You've you've done not marathons but like triathlete. I was a, a crossfitter, a, um, like a high performance athlete in the crossfit thingy. Yes. And. Uh, I I I used I, I used a lot I did a lot of cycling but I'm not a good runner. Okay. And I swim. Okay, right. It was biking and swimming. Biking, swimming um, and the also crossing. a book author. A book author? Yes. Yes. And all of these things individually any of them are impressive, but to do it all, I just I'm so impressed. I don't know how. So what does a typical day look like? What time? Cuz you guys have heard my my routine. Wait till you hear hers. What time do you get up? I wake up at 3 a.m. <laughs> I get up out of bed at 3 a.m. Okay. And uh bec why? Because I adore Undivided, silent, undistracted time for myself. Okay. And uh, I wake up at 3 a.m. Um, I, I don't watch the phone at all. This is me time. Okay. So the moment I wake up, I go, mm, today's a great day because when we wake up, the, the, the process of awareness kicks in mm -hmm. and it might relate you back to the past or you might connect to something that you don't like that's happening so that will ruin your your oh, your, yeah. th your train of thought yeah so drink water and i either do yoga or swim for an hour and breath work for 15 minutes then i meditate i love paul mckenna because Paul McKenna is a very intentional meditation that's a trance. Okay. So he has you counting backwards from 300. And, and all the time he is talking to you in two different levels. But it's, it really works. <laughs> and then I take a power nap of 20 minutes. You're going to say, oh, why do you, how can you wake up after that? Because power naps are proven to, to give you like a boost. Okay. And then I go down, I do my, my, my smoothie, protein based. Mm -hmm. I just pack my, my meals. I always eat the same. Yep. Nope. I get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I go up and have my shower and end up with a cold shower, head, the head first so oh that you get the, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. And I get ready. And then I listen to a, a podcast or a, the Founders podcast or Tom Ferry for mm -hmm. one hour. Okay. I get to the office at least, depending on what time I start. In, uh, in the spring and the summer, I start at 6 a.m. And this, these are actual coaching calls, face-to-face -face -face Zoom calls. 6.30, yeah. Yeah. Are the, I get to the office at 6 to prepare, mm -hmm. and I start at 6.30, and I usually go for 12 hours. In the summer, I finish like at 5, and then I am in bed the latest at 8 p.m. Oh, I'm exhausted just for me to... <laughs> And for those of you who have worked with me for years and years and, and want to do something really early in the morning, it's this is why I can't at 7.30 on Thursday mornings because that's our been our standing time yeah. for three years now. For three years. Three now. years, every Thursday morning at, at 7.30. But when it's the daylight changing, Mexico yes. doesn't daylight. Right. He, our coaching is at 6.30 a.m. Yes. for me, 7.30 Not for me. For she, <laughs> she, she does the hard thing again. No 
no one is surprised oh, by that. I love yes. it. Yeah, yeah. Now, how much of all of this involves travel? Like how, because I know that you can do it from anywhere in the world. Do you ever yes. choose to do it from someplace else or? Uh, I, in average, I travel like 18 or 20 times a year. She travels a lot, y'all. <laughs> so a lot is for Tom. Uh, a lot is like visits to like for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, some are for the Coldwell Banker. And then I travel to see my son who lives in Paris. <laughs> and a few of you may remember um, in 2022, mm -hmm. yes, um, she had challenged a group of us, a group of her coaching clients, and she made us meet her under the Eiffel Tower at midnight. Uh huh. <laughs> on New Year's Eve, and that was such an epic vacation. That was phenomenal. And so. do you remember the conversation that we had that I always tell everybody, when you travel when and you, you grow, expand. your mind expands. Yes. And yeah. an expanded mind never goes back to its original form. Yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I, and guys, here's the thing. There is so much to cover that we're going to have several episodes with you if you're okay with that of while course. you're here. So, I love that. Yeah, because you're in town for four days. Yeah, I'm Four days. So we're going we're gonna to dig into some other things or maybe go a little bit deeper on a few of these. Um, anything else that they should know? You have a beautiful son. I have a beautiful son that lives in Paris. And he got there because of his why and because he knew very, very nicely and wisely how to use it with me. <laughs> <laughs> a little manipulation. No, a I'm kidding. Little, he's, he's little, amazing. Like, okay, I'm your coachee and you always told me to be mindful of my why. Now you listen to me. However, that was a huge growing um, situation. And... When you experience the power of your why, of your purpose, of your vision, mm -hmm. then you understand that it's so powerful that everybody, I don't like to use the word should or need or have, but it, 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 it is like that force that allows us to get from here to here because we know why we're doing it in which time frame we're doing it, it's a goal. Yeah, yeah. And that this is super important for us, that this is a purpose. Absolutely. And usually a why includes someone else. So yeah. that's why we go and say, I'm it totally propels you out of bed every morning. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the things that we do, because I don't know if you ever watched the podcast. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Jill is like, she better. Um, we like to ask a controversial question. Yes. And so this month's question is, do you believe that it's important and do you always make your bed? Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> you can all, I, I think I could just like go through Walmart and go, you do, you do, you don't, you don't. I don't know. Do you think so, Jill? Yeah. yeah so. I totally do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, um, we're so excited that you're here. I, 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 I feel so lucky. We're going to dig into some other topics. So you guys will have to watch the following episodes Hi. to get more information. Um, but please like, follow, and share. And if there is a topic that you would like, like to hear or have us discuss, please reach out and let us know. And thanks for watching today, everyone. Thank you.